Alright, game one, we're going to Gates. I don't know what it is, heavy... The, it, it, that's the yeah. thing, that's the thing! Parry Icicles, thank you! Didn't get the punish, unfortunately, but yeah. Not much, but still, that's something I really... I, I always look for that when I'm commentating uh, brackets. If you can parry it, always, like, almost always parry it. it it's so much free value. And you deny him being able to use such a great tool in neutral. I like this. A lot of percent coming from Sunlust already. Good value. But against Edda, you do have to watch out. You can... Edda can get some mad early kills. As that almost was. And that is... Yeah. Early kills against yeah. Shovel Knight is always a Armor, treat. Armor at 100, too, is going to be scary. This is the point where armor is annoying, because you can still DI out of combos, but you can't die now. It's like peak an armor, but... The chase? Yeah, some of us handled that really well. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no, unfortunate SD. Yeah, that's a huge tempo swing, too. That was almost at zero, pretty much. Yeah, so it's really how good Edda is at staying alive thanks to armor at high percents. That is scary to have to come back after. This is a good start, good parry. though. Parries is so nice. Size. Good. I, I, I don't love see the... that too often. I like that she went and hugged the wall to avoid the icicles and then recovered once they had passed. Knowing that being able to wait in that scenario is huge. A lot of players will panic and try to get rid of that crap fall as fast as possible. Up here to kill, okay. This is Great very, very doable. Oh god, why is Edda down smash so bad? <laughs> I can't believe that's down strong just didn't connect at any point. That move is just like ridiculous. Oh. Uh. Edda down strong might be really bad. Edda F strong is really good though. Yeah. Dr. Worm takes game one. I put that up there for one of the more solid F strongs in the game. Oh, it's so good. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you can fall out of it, it has its gimmicks. But its kill power is just ridiculous, its travel distance, the options it can cover. It's a tech chase, for God's sake, you know? Yeah. <laughs> a tech chase that just straight up kills. <laughs> yeah. Not a move to be slept on. I love this counter pick. We had it earlier with uh, the set with, uh, it was Cat versus uh, Dr. Remrit. Oh, uh, I think it was. No, it was a uh, staff. It was staff versus uh. Dr. Yeah, that's it. Staff versus Doctor Roman Aramata, and I talked about uh how it's a lot easier to parry icicles on the stage and kind of edge guard Edelis. I think this stage is. We great both talked about it. Dealing with Edda. Yeah, the one advantage Edda has is if you can't parry those icicles, uh, this is pretty much just like a second. Yeah. For, uh, The top plats can be kind of tricky, because Edda can go really high to land on them. But if you're not too committal in your options, you can punish that pretty well. Or you just sit on the top plat, because it's easier to go down than up, right? So you're covering top, or high recovery by being up there. And if he goes low, you just drop down with an aerial. You can cover low all of a sudden, you know? Good kill. Right there that I would want to see from Sun. Just sit on the ground. He's going to touch the ground eventually. Might as well stay on the ground in case they icicle. Uh, a lot of Edelus is like the fall with icicles, so... Exactly. Thank you, yeah. Oh my god, these dares! That was nice. I really like that.
I also like the stage now I think about against Edda, because those top platforms are pretty safe from anything Edda can throw at you. Mm -hmm. He has to full hop out of something, and that gives you more time to react. Though if you get up aired on those platforms, you could be fucked with the trade-off. If you, you if you're not able to character tech... though. Well no, for Edda up air, because if you're not able to uh. tech that platform, you are going straight to the blast zone. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to tech it like you can in a lot of other stages platforms. Armor on the board, get spent. Okay. Oh, good wait, good catch. That's good. That doesn't kill. What the? Is that not final hit? Maybe. Uh, That's killing. Good. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was final hit or not. It looked like it was final hit, but... It looked like it was, but I could have sworn final hit should purple right there. Maybe not against that. Also, isn't Aramata pretty tall? It is, but you get really close to the top blast zone because of those platforms. Mm-hmm. That... Oh! Ooh. The hell angle. Yeah. Edda F-Strong... Funny enough, often you just want to no DI it because it sends out a 45. So DIing in makes it so you're more likely to die off the top, and DIing out makes it so you're more likely to die off the side. D no DI often will just kind of put you in a good spot most of the time. Obviously, all DI should be situationally used. But in a scenario like that, no DI. Worm takes game two. Game three, the counter pick. Oh, we're gonna see a character switch from Sunlust going Zedder. See how it works out. Going to Zedder's hometown, home city, Neo Capital. It's a, it's a little bit in the future, just a little bit. Hey, he helped give rise to the fascist dictatorship, all right? I don't know the Rivals lore as well as some people do. I forget why I know it. I don't even know like where my sources are. I just like to say things, and I, they tend to be right. <laughs> Dan, hire me. I don't know who's a good or bad in the lore, other than like... All the characters besides Eliana and Sylv are strictly protagonists. Gotcha. Because Eliana is like a canonical school shooter and Sylv is trying to commit genocide, so... Uh, Besides Sylv, all of them are kind of bad guys, if you know what I mean. Sylv's base, he's gonna solve global warming by getting rid of all the animals. Live this, live this. Good. Okay. Oh, great, no. great, great dodge to, do to avoid dying there. You just up activated your up special again too slow and didn't have enough height. Right yeah. play, just not the right execution. And this is armor at 160. This is terrifying. Goes for the spike! Yeah, I would be feeling really good if I was Dr. Worm right now. Yeah, Dr. Worm's positioning is just so good right now. That's a stock, but Dr. Worm's got so much value already. Good parry, good Dacus. Sun needs to find her way into a good conversion. She's kind of just throwing out a lot of moves right now and hoping. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta be patient. That was cheeky, Worm. We we all know that was cheeky. It could have worked too, but it was cheeky. Okay, that was desperate though, Worm. Wait, wait for these F-Strongs. There we go. Again, F-Strongs is a great move. If you're gonna fish kills, fish kills using a jab or something into your kill option. Don't fish the raw kill option. But that was a 3-0, but it did not feel like a 3-0. It no. definitely felt very close at some points. Yeah, there, there were some very stressful games. Alright. Who's up next on the docket? Up, 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 up. We did Stephanator Asinine, right? Yeah, we had to. Up next is gonna be Katsavi yeah. Stephanator. 
Cats. Fuck me. Cats. 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 Ah! I'm gonna retire permanently after this. This is the last stream you'll ever see me be part of. Cats v. Stephanator. Let's find that replay. LR3. This is Losers Semifinals. Upcoming. I don't have it set up yet. 